everybody, Lloyd here, and uh, today we're doing another game unboxing. We're continuing on with the uh, Marvel United X-Men uh, All-In Pledge unboxing. This just delivered from Kickstarter. Um, today we're looking at X-Force, okay? So uh, this is one of the original lineups of X-Force. So it's got Domino, Cannonball, Shatterstar, Cable, and Strife. Um, let's open up the box and see what we've got. Okay. Um, this was the box that was damaged in my uh, shipping box. Uh, it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of damage to it, but nothing crazy. I don't think anything inside is going to be broken or messed up. So let's go ahead and pop the top off these. So we've got our uh, little one page of rules. So um, if you're not familiar with Marvel uh, United, um, it is a co-op. Um, the uh, one to four players are going to be fighting a uh, mastermind, a villain. And there's going to be uh, six locations out on the board, uh, out on the table. And um, the mastermind is going to you know, move around the different locations, um, causing problems, putting out thugs, um, and punching the heroes. So the heroes, what they need to do is um, defeat the mastermind by uh, removing threats, saving civilians, um, beating up thugs, um, and essentially all the game works, all of the expansions work off of that base um, game system. And then each, each uh, expansion adds a little bit of uh, wrinkles to the rules or something extra. So it looks like what we have in this one is we have hazardous locations. Um, so we have um, something something slightly new. So it's um, basically nothing nothing crazy, but if you add these to the core game or even to Marvel United's core game, you can kind of mix up the gameplay and make things a little bit different um, just by adding in some of these extra rules. So we've got five minis in here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got in the box. So first off, let's take a look at the locations. Okay, so we've got uh, three hazardous locations in here. We've got um, Murder World, it's pretty cool. So, uh, that's Arcade's domain. We've got Strife's Secret Base, it's pretty cool. The Morlock Tunnels. And we've got Adirondack Mountains. Eighty Roanoke. Yeah. Anyway, you got that. <laughs> so those are the four new locations that came with this box. Let's go ahead and get those out of the way. Um, the villain, the mastermind that comes with this, the super villain is uh, Strife. And this is the um, starting tokens if you're playing super villain mode. So if somebody's playing as Strife, the heroes are going to get these starting uh, tokens uh, amongst whoever is playing. Um, so we've got his special rules. We have his, his BAM effect. Um, his overflow and his villainous plot. So uh, the, the heroes lose if all locations are fully occupied by uh, the thugs. And, um, you know, his BAM is going to put out a bunch of thugs. I'm guessing his cards are probably going to put out thugs too. So let's go ahead and take a look at the deck of cards for the heroes and Strife. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at Cable first. Uh, Cable does not appear to have a starting hand card, which uh, a lot of the uh, X-Men um, heroes have a starting hand card. So they're a, a card that you'll always start at the beginning of the game and you'll have right at the beginning. Um, Cable does not have one of those, um, but let's take a look at his artwork. This is all pretty cool, nice original artwork. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's pretty cool. Techno organic physiology. Cool stuff. Throw those in there. Next up, we've got Shatterstar. Again, he does not have a starting hand card either. So um, I thought every hero in here had this, but apparently not. Not even in the core box did they all have it. So let's just take a look at uh, Shadow Shatterstar. So there he is with his uh, crazy swords and his crazy headgear, you know, made by... Good old Rob Liefeld. Um, 
So that's his that's his double bladed sword, which looks like it's um, probably reflected in the model. But again, we've got you know pretty cool artwork. Not all all uh, different, but still cool. Um, here we've got uh, Cannonball, and Cannonball basically uh, his mutant power is explosive gas that allows him to uh, fly around and uh, you know launch himself up just by having a burrito. So good stuff. Um, pretty cool artwork. Let's move on to Domino. So here we've got Domino and um, it's kind of weird how they would, wondering how they would incorporate her power because it's, you know, probability manipulation. Essentially everything works out in her favor. That's her mutant power. Um, but yeah, we've got, uh, you know, here she's, Casually uh, shooting, got her uh, just, you know, dodging a missile. Some double gun stuff going on. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice artwork, good stuff. Let's take a look at Strife. So we've got his uh, villain deck here, which I imagine is gonna put out a bunch of, yep. Well, he's got some, uh, he's got some blue civilians he's putting out, but he does put out quite a bit of, uh, thugs on his turn, but nothing really fancy there, nothing special. Um, he's got, uh, the legacy virus on three of his cards and, uh, force fields on the other. So basically to be able to, uh, get to punch him, you can try to clear off these threats and clearing off these threats are going to give you a bonus on the locations. On some of the locations, some of the locations are bad. And then here we have um, a challenge, hazardous locations challenge. So set up, include three hazardous locations in the game. When a hero ends their turn in one of these locations with no threat card on it, they must apply its end of turn effect if possible. Uh, so let's go back and take a look at that real quick. You must discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. So. This is saying if a hero ends their turn in Murder World and there is no threat card, it they must apply its end of turn effect if possible. Um, okay, so that's how the hazardous challenge works. If there's no threat card, you have to do it. Pretty cool. Let's throw these back in the box and then we'll take a look at um, all of the minis. All right, so let's take a look at the X-Force minis. First up, we have Cannonball. So Cannonball uh, does not have any legs. He's just uh, doing his uh, rocketing mutant power, right? His energy explosion or whatever. Um, basically, he's launching off of a fart cloud, but uh, you know, he's pretty cool looking. It's a neat mini. It's a little different because he's got that, you know, smoke cloud instead of legs. Pretty cool. I'm digging him. Next up, we have Domino. So this is a pretty cool figure. They even did like, you know, a little detail for uh, or mold lines or sculpt whatever for uh, her eye patch. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Looks like she's got a, uh, a finger of maybe a sentinel there that she's standing on. It's a pretty cool looking figure. Very nineties with the pouches everywhere. Um, but yeah, pretty cool looking domino. Nice. Let's move on. Next up, we've got cable. Now, Cable is very, very super 90s looking. I mean, he's got pouches everywhere. He's got big shoulder pads. He's got knee pads. He's got a giant gun. You know, Rob Liefeld. I, there's a trigger there. And then apparently there's an, another trigger there. I mean, that is, that is a, a Liefeld gun. Just no, no sense to how it works. It's massive. I guess that's for the rocket launch, the grenade launcher underneath. I don't know. But yeah, pretty cool looking. Definitely one of the highlights of this uh, box. 
nice big beefy figure with that giant gun that's bigger than him. Cool stuff. Next up we have Shatterstar. So Shatterstar, um, another one of Liefeld's creations with, you know, things that make zero sense. He's got a double bladed blade. Um, he's got some spiked knuckles on the uh, on the hilt on the guard there. Got these cr- two crazy rat tails, plus a, a giant ponytail, which is insane. Uh, like these are his like his sideburns, I guess. I don't know. It's crazy, but um, yeah. Overall, that is a pretty crazy looking f- mini. I definitely dig it. Um, there you go. There's a uh, Shatterstar. And last up in this box, we've got the villain, Strife. Now, Strife is, uh, I think, a clone of Cable, if I remember correctly. Um, he's got this massive headpiece. He's got little spikes all over him. Pretty cool looking mini. I mean, that headpiece is just massive, that, that thing. Like, I don't think you can get through doors with that on. Width or height wise. Yeah. So that is a uh, strife. Very cool. Very cool mini. And um, that's going to do it for the X Force box. So there we go. So let's uh, throw everything back together. Put the safety glass back on. Put the instructions back in. Throw the top back on. So this was X-Force from the Marvel United uh, X-Men Kickstarter. Um, You could probably get this on aftermarket. I don't think any of this stuff's ever going to see retail. Um, The base game did, but um, let me know. Did you back it? Have you played it? What do you think of X-Force? Are they cool? I mean, they're missing a couple X-Force, you know, characters but i think they're they have stretch goals and stuff so we'll, we'll get to those later and see what uh what other x-force characters are in here but that was it that was x-men x-force um from marvel united let us know what you think and stay tuned because we're going to be unboxing all of the expansions from the latest kickstarter we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a comment or hit the like button it really does help us out If you have suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments as well, and then subscribe to see what we come up with next.